hitting one of its own canine handlers as after two of his dogs were found with fleas, ticks, and sores. It's the same deputy whose former canine escaped and drowned during storms in March. XAN's Lauren Kravitz is live in Florence where police say the dogs were removed. Well, we just spoke with Sergeant Randy Batten over the phone, and he's telling a much different story than what the Williamson County Sheriff's Office is alleging. Deputies say that they removed two dogs from Batten's home, which is just down the street from here while he was gone on vacation. However, Batten tells us over the phone today, he says that he was dealing with a personal issue, that his grandfather is in hospice, and he says that when he came home, his dogs were gone. Well, deputies tell us that when Sergeant Batten was gone, he left his two-year-old German Shepherd Drago home along with his other non-police dog. When a deputy came to check on Drago, he noticed the fleas and ticks and then removed the canine. However, Batten says the vet only found three ticks on Drago. The next day, Batten's personal dog was taken to the vet for the same problem, but Sergeant Batten says he requested that the dog go to the vet to get treatment and that the dog was not removed. Well, Batten has had a rough year so far. In March, his canine Chico was found dead after escaping from his kennel at Batten's home during a storm. Officers say it appears Chico drowned in a drainage ditch shortly after he escaped. Now, deputies say that they are still investigating this case, looking at all of the evidence, and they'll decide whether or not to take any action against Batten. Batten tells us it's basically in the department's hands right now. There's nothing he can do. He says deputies will not let him pick up his dogs. Right now, another canine handler is taking care of Drago until further notice. We're live in Florence. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. Batten has been with the Williamson County Sheriff's Department for his entire 20 year career. We pulled his training history. Looks like he renews his canine training every year. We have also filed a public information request to find out if he's had any disciplinary action taken against him. This is a story we first alerted you about on the KXAN app. We pushed it out this afternoon to the cell phones of everyone who signed up. You can be the first to know by downloading the app and signing up for notifications. Just go to settings and select the kind of alerts you would like delivered straight to your phone.